Hello everybody, Burnt Up Guy here, and welcome to Cloudpunk. Alright, so uh, this game, you're a courier, you're driving parcels from one place to another, it's got this pretty cool, deep, involving storyline, a lot of little side missions, and uh, some pretty awesome pixel art, man. Like, this is a beautiful, beautiful game. So without further ado, let's jump right on it. Alright everybody, welcome to Cloud Punk. We're about to get started with the story. Control, come in. This is... wait, is this channel receiving me? Uh, driver 14FC, this is Control. We read you. Is that you, Carmine? No, my name is Rania. No, uh, you're the new kid. I'm the new driver, yeah. Who is Carmine? He was driver 14FB. What happened to him? He retired last month. Good for him. Not really. He was in the big Sector 6 crash last week. Lots of people got retired. Don't worry, he won't be flying through that section for hours yet. Where do I go now? Well, how are you handling your Hava? Okay, I guess. I read your references. You're a good driver, but navigating a Hava around Navalis isn't like driving your flat country roads back home. Now, this city goes down a hundred miles and up a thousand. Remember, you're not driving an old internal combustion engine. You'll need to engage your vertical repulsors or find one of the car lifts. Fly to headquarters. I'll give you more instructions when you arrive. Thanks, Control. <clears throat> uh, one more thing, 14FC. Welcome to Cloudpunk. Haha, <laughs> awesome. Alright, so you got the intro of the game, you pretty much will get it. You're a carrier, we're driving from one place to another. Uh, it's like a no questions asked type kind of thing. Um, this is, you see how beautiful this is? It's so well darn made. Oh man, so beautiful. Okay, so let's have a look at the map here and uh, explain a few things before we get started here. So. Uh, all these little all these little things here, okay, these are little things to collect all over the map. The ones that you really want to pay attention to are these here, these here. Um, this is just food. Uh, every time you see a shopping cart is a, is a market. The peas are parking spots. Um, these things here are gas stations. You have places to go and get food. Uh, there's drug dealers if you're into that kind of stuff. And uh, that's pretty much well it, but the main highlight things are, like I said, these little, the blue things and the white things. I said those are the ones that we're going to look around for. Um, I'm going to take my time in between episodes and stuff like that and just go around and pick them up, but it's not going to make like a, a big deal of uh, showing where all this stuff is. Um, every once in a while I might do like a little bit of a, a montage of picking them up stuff like that there you know what I mean but uh, other than that uh, I just kind of want to focus on side missions storyline and see kind of how that kind of goes and flows with the, the scenario and things so uh, where are we going here so we still got to go a thousand meters that away can we go this way no you can't go down no, it was just worth worth a look, worth a look. All right, so let's go this way. All right, here we are at the uh, Cloud Punk facility. We'll go get, get off here and check out what's happening. Okay, so there's uh, different views here. There's this one, okay, and you can go to uh, third person view, which uh, I personally like. I think this one is really good. And then if you want to go to first person, well, you can just zoom in and you kind of get that. Uh, first person vibe. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Like I never realized how... Oh man. This is so beautiful. Unbelievably beautiful. Um, Alright, so me probably I'll be playing uh, like this in third person. I like the uh, third person kind of view aspect of it all because you got your character. It's immersive. I don't know. I like it. I like it. Alright, so uh, here's the first package we're going to pick up. 14 FC. This is going to the Marrow. Where's that? Pretty low in the city superstructure. I'll give you a waypoint on your navcom to help you find it. Be careful down there. It's busy, and it's a maze. Not exactly the rich part of town. The kind of place where you wipe your feet on the way out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that's very Carmen nice. was a great driver. You got big boots to fill. 
He flew delivery for over 10 years, you know? How about the driver before him? 14 F.A.? <laughs> Lasted one night. Yeah. Most drivers only last one night. They quit the job? One way or another, yeah. You seem like a nice kid, 14 F.C. I <laughs> hope you make it. Don't get lost down there in the marrow. I'll try. What's in the package? Two rules, kid. Don't miss a delivery, and don't ask what's in the package. Everything else is just guidelines. Nice. See? Yeah, pretty much straightforward, right? Okay, so you get little side missions, too. And sometimes they're not just, like, side missions. Sometimes they're just, like, backstory things to fill in the lure of the... The lore... Lore... Lore of the game. <laughs> Alright, so let's talk to the gang member. Hey, come here a minute. Why? We want to talk to you. So talk. What do you do? Delivery driver. You're cloud punk, right? So you must be thinking you're pretty badass. <laughs> if you say so. Why you be nice to her? She delivers to the spire. She don't respect us. Show me something to respect, then. You're sassy. Acting like you weren't afraid of us. I ain't. <laughs> she don't know who she's talking to, Razor. She don't know how you got that name. Razor. Razor. Are you a shaving robot? <laughs> you don't gotta take that from her type, Razor. You gotta do something. Nah, I like her. She's got a big mouth like me. So you're both part of Block 4-0, right? You heard of us. I Block heard there's an android gang I should avoid. That's good advice. You don't want to get in our way. Why do you get such a bad reputation? We do a lot of things we ain't supposed to. Robbing people? Nah, much worse. <laughs> Urban renewal, bitch! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Wait, what? Urban renewal? <laughs> yeah, community project. Planting gardens on corporate oh waste ground. Turning old factories into playgrounds. Real hardcore shit. <laughs> I mean... That's truly hardcore, no, I don't yeah. get it at all. There ain't nothing in the Volus that will get you in more trouble than fucking with corporate property. <laughs> we would be safer if we were straight murdering fools. Well, good luck, I guess. That sounds like a worthwhile thing for a gang to do. I just figured gangs in Navalis were a bit more... You assumed wrong, but that's alright. We ain't surprised they talk shit about us. Well, I won't. I hope you two never get caught. Fuck yeah! You was right, Razor. She's all right. You stay <laughs> loose, Cloud Punk. We we'll see you later. Oh, mm. uh, that's friggin' awesome. See, it's what I like about like the the little backstories like this. Pretty friggin' awesome. Pretty awesome. All right, so here's one of the first things that we're gonna pick up. Bam! Steel plastic parts. All right, so like I have no idea what these parts do. I in the last time I picked up like a whole whack of them, so I'm just gonna adventure it around, look around. All right, let's talk to Teko. Excuse me, miss. Have you seen her? Seen who? Nari. Nope. I'm sorry, I don't know who that is. Are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. I can't find her. I mean, do you have somewhere to stay? I know a shelter nearby. Why would I need a shelter? Well, your clothes are rags, and it looks like your exterior dermis is breaking down. I can see some of your endoskeleton. Oh no. No, I can't go to a shelter. Nari wouldn't think to look for me there. Who is Nari? She is gone. And when she left, she took all my happiness with her. Oh no. Can't you call her? She does not answer. Maybe she doesn't want to talk to you. That can't be true. Sounds like she's giving you a pretty clear message. What was the last thing she said to you? That she would love me forever. Oh no. Oh, I'm um, sorry. There have been a lot of accidents in the city. I'm not saying she was in one, but just, you know, it can be hard to keep in touch with people. Crazy. I have to say, this city is... Too fast. It moves too fast. Yeah. Do you have any leads? She had no money. She wouldn't last long here then. Maybe the Marrow? I will try there next. Well, good luck. What's your name again? Taiko. If you see Nari, tell her Taiko is looking for her. Awesome. Well, got a little side mission there, probably. Maybe that's a thing. Maybe it's not. Who knows? But, uh, 
Yeah, let's keep her going. Oh. What, really? Can I skip her on that? What? Come they won't let me through. I think I know how they work, Control. You do? They go up and also down, right? Awesome. Yeah, that's about it. You know why? No. It's about vert ceilings. Not those again. Say again, 14FC. Sorry, just making a kind of joke. Go ahead, Control. Hoffas are tuned to a vertical field frequency based on the layer of the city they're in. That field locks you to a maximum and minimum altitude. That's why you need the ascenders. They take you up or down the layer, hmm. and as they carry you, they reset your Hava's field frequency. They reset the vertical ceiling and floor. But Hava's fly. Just fine outside Navalis without vert fields. That's true. Your hopper will fly fine in areas without the fields. Even in old ruined parts of the city that are off the grid. But the grid holds everything together in the city. Tracks you, gives you access to the nets, the comm, the mapping systems, the reserve power if your engine stalls. And it stops us just flying straight up to the spire too, right? <laughs> That's right, kid. The CEOs don't want you flying up and looking in their windows. They prefer their privacy. I guess we don't get many jobs up there anyway. You might be surprised, kid. Alright, so we're here in the first little area we need to go. This is as, probably as far down in the map as that we're going to be able to go. Um, this is what they call the marrow. Uh, if you can see below us, there was like water and stuff, so I guess uh, you can't go any farther than that, right? Well, let's go have a look here. There's a character to talk to here. Did you try the okonomiyaki? Isn't that a pancake? Right! With fish flakes! Oh, Ugh. it's to die for! I wouldn't trust the fish flakes here in Novalis. Would you like to appear on my food review channel? It's on all the nets! We're looking for people to react to different stimuli! Can you pretend to be sick on cam? That's retarded. What? No. <laughs> There's a free meal in it for you. Really? Or would you pretend to be really annoyed? Our viewers <laughs> love that. I am annoyed. That's perfect. Where's my free meal? Ah, cheapskate. Cheapskate. Oh, there's something here to pick up. We'll grab this all right quick. Doink. Uh, coolant. I don't know what all this stuff is for. I'll have to I'll have to find out eventually. We'll look in our inventory at one point or another. But uh, I'll go around and I'll collect all this stuff here. Hey you, I need to ask you a question. I'm busy. <laughs> I just need a minute. I'm a structural engineer and I'm trying to make sure we don't have another disaster like in Sector 18. You're not too busy to help prevent that, are you? I don't know how I can help you, I just make deliveries. You're driving all the time? You see a lot of the city? This is actually my first night on the job. Ah, True. still, you've probably seen a lot already. Mm, a little sure. bit. Sure, it seems like the city is falling apart. Can't you guys do anything? And we're trying. The whole infrastructure is plasteel built on top of concrete, held together with ancient rivets and materials we don't even have names for anymore. <laughs> the computer systems are so ancient they've gone senile. No one knows how everything is still working or how to know when it stops working. That's the crazy. city is held together with, with duct tape and hopes and dreams. Kind of sounds like How my job. How did things get so bad? <laughs> it's always been like this. These disasters have been a, a long time coming. Can't you fix it? Fix what? The accidents. The city. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. The engineers are powerless now. With my colleagues, it's all superstition and ritual. They talk with AIs that stopped talking back a thousand years ago. Wonderful. They press buttons and switches that could make everything better or worse. 
Mm. Or they might do nothing at all. It sounds like They're an like engineer. Monkeys, trying to operate a satellite array with a broken computer terminal. <laughs> I'm the last real engineer. The only scientist among them all. So how am I supposed to help? Well, if you see any street signs blink three times and then turn red, come tell me, okay? Sure. What does that mean, though? Uh, probably nothing. But if you <laughs> see them flash blue, well, that means trouble. So get out of there. Oh, my God. Blue? You said red the first time. Oh, yeah. Uh, blue. blue red. Or red. Either one. What about other colors? No. Blue or red is bad. Anything else means there's no problems. Uh, unless it's green. Or orange. And if they turn purple, well... That doesn't really matter. Why not? If they turn purple, well, it's too late for you to do anything anyway. Oh my god. That's pretty intense. Wow. <laughs> what a conversation. Oh. Alright, so here's our first delivery. Oh, thank god. This will change everything. Where do I sign? Right here, Mr. Carba. L please, call me Irwin. Erwin. It's from my parents. They died, you know. Cora only knows what caused the crash. I'm sure they saved their whole life to give this to me. I, I thought it would be in cash. Limbs. But my neighbor said they'd probably leave me pressed gold. That way, you don't pay so much city tax on the transfers. Oh my god. Can I take that now? Sure. Here you go. Who is Cora? It's just an expression. You want to see what's inside? I can maybe give you a tip if it's limbs. Not every day you see someone become rich in front of your eyes, right? <laughs> Just think. I can finally get the eye surgery I need. Two augments. No expense spared. I can hardly read the holocrons these days. It's all just a blur. Let's see. Just rip here and... Oh. What is it? Gold? It's old toys. <laughs> old toys. My ship models. The R7 ICBM. <laughs> oh, and no. Sputnik. The NASA shuttles. The UN oh, Interplanetary 101. Why did they send these? <laughs> it must be some kind of code. There's a note, right? Yeah, let's see. Dear Irwin, we know these toys were important to you at one time. We need to sell the apartment, but your father has a scheme. It seems risky, but if all goes well, this will arrive just before we land at the colonies. We're going to the stars, just like we always dreamed. Shit. I know it's hard out there, but if we keep our heads down, we can start sending you money for the operations. Well, his parents tried to win go get a better, a better life and just end up dying on. along the way and... Everything's going to be okay. That's horrible. Sorry. That sucks. I should go. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, that's some bad crappy luck. Alright, so that's the first, uh, I guess, parcel there. So I'm going to go around the map. I'll uh, do my little tour here. And I'll stop off at every little place and see if I can get everything. And then uh, I'll move on and uh, we'll continue with the story. Oh, the telephone. Good job, kid. I looked into your profile. It says you came from the Eastern Peninsula. Heard it's nice there. What made you want to come slumming with us in Nivalis? It's the biggest city in the world. I wanted to make an impression. It's not easy to break out in Nivalis, kid. Making it here is like trying to paint on the surface of a river. The current of people and ideas and the crowds, they, they wash everything away. I'll make it. Sure you will, kid. Just try making it through tonight first. We need you to head up to the Mercantile District. You're moving up in the world. What's the job? Same as always. Take a package from A to B without too many questions. A is a warehouse. B is a penthouse. Transmitting nav points now. And remember, don't let them look down on you, kid. The merchants are as far from the clouds as they are from the gutter. Okay, Control. On my way. 
Good stuff. Alright, so now we know what our next mission is. So, uh, I'll go and do that as soon as I finish uh, collecting all this stuff. Load Hova AI. Load Assistant. Load Computer. Helper. Do you want to activate the generic automata? Yes, that's the one. Automata now available in generic limited mode. How can I help you today, sir? Not sir. My name is Rania. How can I help you today, Mr. Rania? I'm not a mister. Update my profile, please. Profile changes are locked in the trial generic automata. Would you like to upgrade to my limited offer, monthly subscription, premium <laughs> mode? Now, just how much to replace you with an existing AI? Do you have a hard copy of the AI on storage media? I do. Then the transfer cost to unlock the automata is 1500 limbs, sir. How would you like to pay? Direct transfer. Please insert storage media. Transfer in process. Automata personality camis will be activated in approximately 20 minutes. Would you like to deactivate the generic automata personality now? Yes. Deactivating. Please enjoy your new automata. Good day, Mr. Rania. Alright, so we got another guy here hiding in the corner, so let's have a little talk with him. Hey, please stop. I need your help. I'm sorry, I can't. Just one moment. I know I look monstrous. No, you don't. I'm just really busy. Making deliveries. I know. That's why I need your help. They call me Patchwork. You need to call my company if you want a delivery. Nice. I can't take on jobs from people in the street. I can pay you. No one else will help me. People scream. <laughs> they scream? <laughs> the children are frightened. Mm. They tell stories about me. About the freak. Really? There are plenty of androids back in the Eastern Peninsula that want to wear dermis but can't keep it in good repair. In Navalis, such a thing is seen as an abomination. Unclean. Dermis is expensive. Do you... do you ever consider just living as an android? Never. I don't feel like an android. My body feels wrong. I want to have skin. To breathe, to feel, to sweat, to touch people without them recoiling. Interesting. I understand. What do you want from me? I can't leave this alleyway. They run from me. Corpsec would fine me for causing a scene. I need Dermis. I can only buy from less reputable sources. You want me to buy you black market skin cells? No way. I can pay you well. As a human, it is not even illegal for you. Only androids are forbidden from buying from unofficial vendors. I'm sorry, you need uh. to find someone else. There is no one else. I have been like this for a week. I will not live like this. I cannot. How far do I need to go? Just two blocks over. Here is the money. You can keep half. Fine. What is his name? <laughs> Greppo. He stands in the corner. A thin mustache. He is hard to miss. And what is your name? I told you. They call me Patchwork. What is your name? Pete. I would like to be called Pete. I'll do what Pete. I can, Pete. Nice. Uh, Alright, so there's a thing back there. I don't know if you can get that. I think you'd have to like uh, be able to go through the nightclub or something. Seems to be like the only way to go go back there. Uh, oh, unless it's maybe up. Oh, I might be on the upper part. But uh, he's over here, so let's go talk to this uh, Greppo guy. Greppo? That's me. Keep moving, sick. What? I'm not corpse sick. <laughs> sure you wait. I don't have anything for you. Dermis. I need it. For a friend. Oh. <laughs> the skin job found someone to come out and play? Uh. How is Batchwork Man? His name is Pete. Pete? <laughs> Who's he fooling? He's a Batchwork Man. With the wobbly jelly eyes and the flesh hanging off him like he's skin meat. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> oh my god. What they say about him? The patchwork man loves to see the smiles on kids' faces. That's why he wears them over his own. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. <laughs> oh. Just give me the dermis. 
Sure, sure. <laughs> Tell Patchwork I said hi. That freak. Asshole. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's about right. <laughs> oh my god, that's too funny. All right, so let's go deliver this uh, dermis back to uh, Pete, and then uh, I'll continue on gathering stuff. Very well again done this game. Hey Pete. I can't believe you have to deal with that Greppo guy. Did you get the dermis? Yeah, it's just a vial with some liquid. That's right. The cells are microscopic, but they grow and renew. I'll have full human skin for a few months, at least. Then it breaks down. Can you get something more permanent? Not unless a million limbs suddenly appear in my bank account. Would you ever live as an android? Would you? <laughs> Good point. I guess not. Thank you for your help. See you around, Pete. All right, here's the guy down here, the storeroom clerk. You the delivery driver? Yes, I'm from Cloudpunk. Cloudpunk. All right, here's the package. Don't open it, don't ask me about it, and don't be late. And before you ask, yes, it's supposed to smell like that. Okay, thanks. Is this real neat? What did I just say? <laughs> 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 okay, that's uh, pretty funny actually. Okay, is there something else back here? Please Come in, us. 14 FC. How are you handling the hot <coughs> so far? Hello, this is 14 FC. Yes, everything is totally fine. Relax, kid. You'll get the hang of it. What's giving you the most trouble? The traffic? Yeah, and how fast everyone drives. They all know exactly where they're going. You'll be that fast once you get your bearings. Faster even. Just remember, the highways channel an induction loop through your hava. Right. It's pretty simple. When you're on the highways, it's like the road is moving under you. You'll get a big speed boost. Use the highways to get as close to your destination as you can, and then cut off when you're close. I can only park in the bays, right? That's right. Havas aren't meant to touch the ground. The repulsors on the parking bays keep the undercarriage a few centimeters off the ground. It's not just a technical restriction. Corpsec defines the parking around the city to maximize traffic flow. I guess that's a good thing for us. And them too. You know, traffic jams seize up the wheels of commerce. If Corpsec have one priority, it's making sure business continues as usual. Well, you know, that's kind of how business works, right? All right, so we got the package. Now we got to go and deliver the package, and uh, let's get on with that. All right, let's talk to this uh, butler. I have your delivery. Give it here. It says I'm to deliver to Mr. De Beer. That's my employer. Give it to me this instant. Hey, street rat. Is wow. this being tampered with? What? No. Good. Most drivers ask what's in the package. Hmm. The smell makes them curious. What's in the package? Dinner. Meat. From which animal? What a strange question. Good day. Interesting. Hmm. Not really a strange question. Anyways. <laughs> Whatever. Another job complete. Uh, that's everything in this area, so let's get back to the hovel. Yeah, and then we'll uh, go elsewhere. Maybe they'll contact us when uh, we get there. What time is it? It's pretty late. It's almost time for me to go to work, actually. <laughs> oh, there we go. Incoming call. 14 FC, are you back in Midtown yet? Look, kid, we messed up. We need you to get through a Corpsec security checkpoint. Now, you've never been scammed by Corpsec. We just paid to wipe your record, so we need them to hold a clean file on you. They won't recognize me? <laughs> Not unless you've broken any other laws. Sending you a nav point now. Uh, one more thing, kid. You need to go through on foot, so don't look suspicious. 
or act suspicious. And don't mention Cloud Punk. Or me. Okay. Interesting. So let's go do this. Pretty good. <laughs> It's like the same music all over the place. Ah, oh, this is the place at the beginning I couldn't get through. Nice. Hold up, lady. Let's see either your citizen license or your voluntary contribution. I wish you people would just call them bribes. What's that? Nothing, officer. Here's my details. Okay. I just have to create a new record for you and then... Hold, please. I'm getting a message in my earpiece. Yes, Agent Rio. No, sir. Her name is Rania. Cloudpunk? I don't think so, sir. Yes, sir. I'll ask her. Yes, sir. I'll tell you if I think she's lying. Ma'am, are you now, or have you at any time been a part of the illicit delivery service known as Cloudpunk? Never heard of them. Hold, please. Yes, sir. She says she's never heard of them. I believe her, sir. Okay, sir, I'll let her through. And I'll... She can hear me. Hmm? Hmm? Yes. <laughs> yep. Okay, then. I'll do that. Sir, yes sir. Okay, miss, you can go. Your details have been updated. When I scanned your ID, our server said you're a musician from the Eastern Peninsula. Wanna play us some music? Maybe another time. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Alright. So I can go back and pick up the rest of the stuff I didn't think I could uh, pick up there. Oh, nice, nice. So, uh, let's talk to this guy here. Yo, what is what the business? hell? Is this your boy Rory Alpha giving you a shout out from Midtown where I was like speakers implanted people. in his head? Like this young lady here who is desperate to have her say on the Undernet's hottest loudcast. Could you get the microphone away from me? Oh, we have here another stuck up young woman, too busy shopping and using makeup. I call it fake up because it is really lies to trick men. She doesn't even have time to talk to my listeners, the Bro Brothers. The Bro Your Brothers. Your listeners are called the Bro Brothers. That's right. The Bro Brothers are my pack. Am I right? Ooh, ooh. And your show is about... <laughs> Finally giving the bros a chance to speak out, to have their say. I don't think you want me on your show. And I sure don't want to be on it either. Now let's try to talk to someone better, bro brothers. We gotta find the real voice of the people. We need a real man on this show. Am I right? How about that corpse sec officer? He seems to be looking at you. He seems like a real man. Alright, bros, we're gonna boost now. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit up that notification bell and <laughs> I, I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, so exactly. You heard the guy, man. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Funny stuff, funny stuff. We're gonna go around and collect more stuff here and then, uh, yeah, we'll uh, continue on. <laughs> uh, that was some pretty funny stuff. Your automata custom personality is ready for instantiation. Would you like to activate Camus now? Yes, please. Camus, are you there? It's you! Oh my god, I what the hell you. is that? How are you? Happy. A dog? What am I? Feels strange. You've been loaded into my vehicle's automata slot. Oh. Sorry, Camus. This is all I can afford right now. I was a bad dog? No, you were the best, Camus. I am just a hova now. Not as good. I know, I know. We'll get you a new body, I promise. <laughs> it will just take okay. a while. So it's just a like a job. personal friend AI you don't play thing. Music anymore? Okay. I like music. Me too, Camus, but we need money. We lost the house. I had to move us to Novalis. Oh no. We hate the city. We did. Maybe it's not so bad now. I'm doing deliveries. We are doing deliveries. I am helping. Yeah. We're a team, right? I will help. I feel... not so... good, though. I am sleepy now. It's the automata slot in the Hova car. It's pretty limited, and the hardware runs at a lower clock cycle, so you might need to take it easy for a while. Don't... understand. 
Your higher operating functions are multi-threaded, but that's not supported with the hardware we have. Uh... <laughs> that means it might take you a bit longer to figure things out. But you'll get there. I'm sleepy. Okay, rest for now, Camus. I'll bring you online soon. And Camus, I missed you too. Crazy, crazy. So that's what she'd rather talk to? That's fine. Whatever. Your choice. Oh, hello, HQ. <laughs> we sent someone else. We need you to. Damn it. Sorry. We need you to pick up a package from Cambria Heights. It's a residential zone. I'm sending a nav point now. Okay, on my way. Wait. 14 FC. Is there a problem? No, never mind. Good luck. Hmm. They're a really sketchy business we work for, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, no wonder, like, uh, the crap goes down and people die and, you know, I'm telling you, very, very sketchy, very, very sketchy. Alright, so we'll try to go and do this mission. Let's go down this way. There's this person here. Control, maybe? I'm at the destination and no one is here. Control, Camus, are you awake? Yes, I am awake. Hmm. Excited. Want to help? Can you scan the area? Local scan. Look for ID chips on possible delivery containers. I don't know how. Wait. I know how. I think. What is box? A box is a square cube. No. What is that box? It's right there. Okay, I see it. I guess that's the package then. Why is no one here? I have bad feelings. Me too, Camus. Uh, sketchy boxes, picking up sketchy stuff. You know, it's just what it's all about. Some of the stuff is so far, but I'll go get it. Alright, so we're um, <clears throat> back at the car with our package. Let's get in here. It's kind of fishy. Didn't tell us where to deliver the package. I hear noise. What noise, Camus? Tick tock, tick tock. From the package. I hear it too. I still have bad feelings. One second, Camus. Control, come in. Control, this is driver 14 FC. Come in, this is important. Driver 14 FC, this is Control. Please deliver your current package with urgency. Control, why is this package ticking? You know, I should have to do that. I'll only Control, what's happening there? Uh, nothing. I've been informed that you're to stop calling us about the package. Deliver it quickly. That is all. Please, no more communication until delivery. Camus, I don't know what to do. I am nervous. Why? I am nervous because you are nervous. Maybe we can throw away the tick-tock. Tick-tock, 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 tick-tock. Maybe. I could dump it at the trash chute in Section 8B. That sends it into the refuse collection at the base of the city. Nothing ever comes back from there. Will Mr. Control be mad? Yes, but I get a bad feeling too, Camus. I think it will be bad either way. I want to help, but don't know what to do. I know, Camus. I know. I just have to make a call on this one. Uh, well, you know what? I'm going to deliver the package. <laughs> I guess I'm just one of those type of people. You know. And besides, it's closer, so if it really is a bomb, I'd rather blow up then and not on my way to the other one. Just saying. Alright, so where's the parking here? Over here. Uh, horrible parking. The guy like double parked. What an arse. Alright, so let's go deliver the package. Not my job. Uh, drop payload. Oh, is that the garbage? Was nothing. We did our job, Camus. We shouldn't ask so many questions. I am not sure. 
You want to say something? If it is okay? Sure. Is this a job good? It pays good. <laughs> Are we doing good things? No more questions, please, Chemis. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I locked an achievement. Two roads diverge. So I guess uh, maybe it was a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. But uh, there's a bunch of stuff on here, and uh, that's it. So. Driver 14 FC, this is Control. Is there anything you want to tell me about that last job? No, nothing. All right. Well, I'm just glad it went okay. For your next delivery. Please proceed to the following nav point to collect a package at Life Corp Industries. You'll need to find a way up to the roof of the building. Our client didn't leave us an access code, but, um, well, you're a smart kid. You'll think of something. Control out. Alright, so that's our next, uh, our next mission. We'll, uh, save it there, and, uh, next time we'll talk to Molly and all that good stuff, and, uh, that's it. So everybody, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace.